What is going on, you guys? It's your boy, King Sanders here. We are back with another day of sports betting. This is going to be for Tuesday, January 31st slate of NBA action. I'm super excited to dive into it. This is the last official day of January. So, hopefully we can go ahead and end it off with a bang. We ended up having another pretty good day, so that's two straight good days. Hopefully, hey, don't call it a comeback, but we're, we're starting to get hot here. Hopefully we can keep that trend going. But before we go ahead and dive into it, I did just want to go ahead and say thank you guys so much for allowing me to hit 11,000 subscribers. Truly, once again, this is just a milestone that when I was starting out, I just never thought that I'd be able to hit. So the fact that I am at 11,000 and still constantly growing, man, it's, it's absolutely fantastic feeling. We've been doing this for a little bit over a year now, and I've seen so much success with it already. So seriously, you guys, you guys are awesome. I love you all, but let's go ahead and make it to 12,000. So... We are on the road to 12,000, so if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys do like, comment, subscribe. Turn on that notification bell so you guys know whenever I post. Next, I did just want to go ahead and give a quick shout out here to all of our members here on the channel. Thank you guys so much for everything that you guys do. And thank you guys so much for giving such a small channel such a big chance, as I always say. It truly does mean the absolute world to me so, so much more than you guys will ever know. So, without any further ado, before we dive into a quick recap, let's go ahead and announce the giveaway winner. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and see who ended up winning this giveaway. As you guys can see up here at the top here, the, you guys had 158 different people comment on the video the entering into the giveaway. So seriously, you guys, you guys are awesome. Thank you guys so much for that. But without any further ado, let's go ahead and dive into it, shall we? Looks like it's going to be David Hernandez. He says, go Bulls. Yes, absolutely. Go Bulls. Here in Central Illinois, repping my Chicago Bulls. But hey, David, congrats on the giveaway. Uh, make sure you guys make sure you do comment down below, either like your Twitter, Instagram, email, like anything that I can reach you by, so that way we can go ahead and verify that it is truly you, and then I can go ahead and get that fifty dollars sent over. Congrats once again on the giveaway. Hope you have a great rest of your day. So congrats on the giveaway, David. I do hope that this comment does end up finding you. I will go back and I'll try to reach out to you if not. But regardless, David, I hope that you ended up having a great day today. And I hope that this can make it just a little bit better. So make sure you do drop down below either a Twitter, Instagram, some sort of social that I can reach you by. Um, so that way we can verify that it truly is you and I can get that $50 sent over right away. But without any further ado, let's go ahead and do a quick recap as of yesterday. We were very close to the sweep, and if I wouldn't have added that play, we would have been bringing out the Sunnies today. I'm very upset with myself, but, you know, it is what it is. We ended up having the Warriors and the Thunder over 241 at minus 110 odds. This one ended up working out for us. Um, this one was kind of... The number was high, but I definitely knew that it was high for a reason, and I ended up really liking this play, and I'm really glad that it ended up working out. Um, it, it was more so towards the end of the back half of this game when things really started to get picking up, picked up. Um, they were kind of teetering around that halfway mark towards halftime, but I wasn't sure if they were going to get there. But then that, in that fourth quarter, they had an eruption of points, so it ended up working out for us. Then we did end up having the Trailblazers minus two and a half here versus the Hawks. Whew, this one was sweaty. This one was very, very sweaty. Uh, obviously, Trey Young does get ruled out of this game, and I'm thinking to myself that this is going to be this is going to be sweat free. Um, the Portland Trailblazers were up pretty big most of the game, but then in the fourth quarter, the Hawks ended up coming back, bringing it to within like a couple of possessions. And I'm just sitting there, and I'm like, oh my gosh, we might actually end up end up losing this one. Um, the Hawks end up hitting a three to put them down by two with five seconds left. They throw it into Damian Lillard. Damian Lillard then dribbles out, and I didn't think they'd be able to get the foul off. It was very, very close, but luckily, Damian Lillard steps up to the line, knocks down both free throws, and the Hawks miss their shot. So, it ended up working out, but man, oh man, it was close. Then we had the Raptors and the Suns under 227.5. This one wasn't a sweat at all. The line opened up so ridiculously high and just trended all the way down, all the way, like, throughout the rest of the day. And you could have got this line all the way down to 220 and a half, and it would have cashed. So this one ended up working out. It really wasn't that big of a sweat, to be completely honest. I know it was like 86, 85 at the end of the third or something like that. It was very low scoring all the way through. But then we had our added play. We had D'Lo over 19 and a half points versus Sacramento, minus 125. Normally, I don't take players that have done really well the night before. I like to bet on the bounce backs. 
And this one, unfortunately, I did, and this is why I don't do it because it burned me. Um, D'Lo ended up, he's covered in four out of his last six, but then he ends up shooting the ball 16 times and only making four of them today. I think he finished with like 10 points. You guys will see it up here, but um, he shot so many times in the fourth quarter in an overtime. I thought that this was bound to hit, but you know, it is what it is. Ended up going with three and one. Can't argue with a three and one day. That is definitely profit at the end of the day. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and dive into today's plays. So for our first official play of the day, we are going with Paul George over 23 and a half points here versus my Chicago Bulls at minus 125 odds. Now, Paul George has gone over in two out of his last three ga games just in general, and the one loss that he had in those last three, he finished right on the hook. So I think it's a pretty good spot to target. He does average 23.9 points per game on the road, so he almost averages this on the road, which is why I like it even more. And he has gone over in four out of his last five matchups here versus Chicago, so he has seen a lot of of history with this team and he's been pretty successful with it as well so i do think that he can get to 24 for us that's really not asking for a whole lot from a star like paul george especially from the offensive side of things chicago does allow the ninth most points per game to opposing shooting guards and the fourth most in the last seven games so we all know i love my bulls but one thing that that i know for sure is zach levine is not a very good defensive player so i think that paul george is going to have a very easy matchup to be able to score 24 25 points i think that patrick williams is more than likely going to be taking on Kawhi leonard so it's going to leave paul george pretty much with whoever's left and i don't think it's really going to be that difficult um, i think this is a pretty good spot it's a 230 and a half over under um, so with that being said there's plenty of points to go around especially if we're only asking for 24 and in this game there is going to be no Marcus Morris no John Wall R Reggie Jackson is listed as questionable so with all those things I mean there's so many guards and, and potential scorers on the floor that are going to be taken off of it somebody has to score in this game so I do think that Paul George is going to be the guy to do it I will say I do think that the Bulls win this game I really do but I do think Paul George has a pretty big night. So we're going to be riding with it for our first official play of the day. Paul George over 23 and a half points here versus Chicago at minus 125 odds. Now for our second official play of the day, we are going with the Lakers plus two and a half spread here versus the Knicks at minus 110 odds. I know, I know, I know, I know. Call me crazy. But I actually like the spot. The, the line is pretty much telling me everything that I need to know, I think. Um, the Knicks are just 9-14-2 and 14 and two against the spread at home. And I know that the Lakers haven't been great, but they have won four of their last six matchups here versus New York. So I think that that does speak a little bit of volume. They are going to be in Madison Square Garden where a lot of players do like to show up. So I do think a lot of the role players here for the Lakers are going to show up. And LeBron and Anthony Davis did sit out of last game. So I think that they do come into this game ready to go. Uh, the Lakers are four and four against the spread on the second leg of a back to back, but you're you got to account that LeBron and AD, their two best players, didn't play. So you're adding in two superstars back into the mix, where a team is already 500 when it comes to the second leg of a back to back. So I think it's a pretty good spot, and the Lakers have actually been trending in the right direction here recently. They've actually covered in six of their last nine games, so they've been pretty solid here. I think that this is a spot where the Lakers actually steal a game in Madison Square Garden, and the Lakers, they have to start picking things up, especially with the playoffs coming up, and I think that this is a spot where they really need to start ramping things up. They have most of their team healthy. Um, I know that they have a couple question marks right now, but they're getting a lot of their team back and they're starting to look like a competent, good basketball team. And you're adding in LeBron and AD back. Yeah, sign me up. I think that the Lakers do steal this one. So we're going to be riding with it for our second official play of the day. Lakers plus two and a half here versus the Knicks at minus 110 odds. Now for our third and final play of the day, we're going with the Heat and the Cavs. We're taking the under 210 at minus 110 odds. Now, I know that this line is low, but I think that this line is low for a reason. Cleveland is 13-13 and 13 to the under this year at home. Pretty, literally a coin flip when it comes to that, but Miami is 13-11 and 11 to the under on the road. More profitable than not on the road. Not to mention, Miami, dead last in points per game. Cleveland, not very far ahead of them. They are 26th in points per game. So both these teams are in the bottom five when it comes to points per game and scoring just in general. And then you're talking about two elite defenses. Cleveland, first in points allowed. The best in all of basketball. They also allow three fewer points per game at home this year. 
so they're a better defense at home than they are on the road. Miami, second in points allowed. You're talking about the top two defenses in all of basketball here. Also, Cleveland, second in defensive efficiency. Miami, third. You're talking about top three defensive efficiencies in all of basketball. And you're talking about two slow-paced teams. Miami, 28th in pace. Cleveland, dead last. I think this is going to be, unfortunately, a very boring game to watch. It's going to come down to the very end. So if you guys are going to watch this game, I highly suggest just turning it on in the fourth quarter. Um, so I, I do think it'll be close in the fourth quarter. But I think this is going to be a very slow-paced game. There's not going to be a whole lot of, of scoring, not a whole lot of buckets. Uh, I could be wrong, of course. As always, I could be wrong. But I think that this is a really good spot here to take the under. We've been pretty good on over-unders this year, as you guys can see over by the record. We are now 16-3 and on the year on over-unders, which is which is absolutely insane. But um, So hopefully we can have another one. That is going to be our third and final play of the day. Heat and the Cavs under 210 at minus 110 odds. So that is going to do it for today's video. If you guys did enjoy, make sure you guys do like, comment, subscribe, turn on that notification bell so you guys know whenever I post. We are now on the road to 12,000 subscribers. So if you guys are new, make sure that you guys are subbed. But that's going to do it for me. This is King Center signing out. Peace.